in the flux of eternity there's no beginning and there's no end There are no limitations. It is pure perfection. That's Shiva, pure consciousness, the absolute. Here, five aspects of Shiva, five uh, powers attributed to this pure consciousness. I am sure that you have seen these three lines in the forehead of the Shiva devotees. And many of the murtis of Shiva are represented with these three lines here in the forehead. Well, this is the symbol of Shiva. And each one of these lines represents one attribute. So the first attribute that this energy, that this consciousness, this intelligence that we are part of is to restore. To restore is one of the attributes of Shiva. All is Shiva, the absolute. Nothing can be outside of it because it has no boundaries. All, more than whatever our human capacities allows us to understand, that's Shiva. And coming back to the attributes, one of these attributes is to restore. This is the first line. The second line is to sustain. And the third one, to transform. I choose these two words very carefully because in Tantra we are more connected with physics and we understand that nothing can be created so as nothing can be destroyed. So we understand uh, Shiva as consciousness that has no beginning and no end. And uh, the creation has been replaced for restoration and uh, the destruction by the transmutation or transformation. And uh, well, you said there were five attributes and here we just can see three and it is part of the beauty of Tantra that is always like a poem. We have these three lines that are aspects that we can say that uh, correspond to what is uh, obvious or evident. But here we have the other two aspects that are in here, in the blank spaces of this symbology. So this line represents the attribute of restoration. This line represents the attribute of to sustain. Shiva is who restores, who sustains, who transforms, who hides. 
that's the other attribute, to hide and to reveal. So here is like you can see like what is the positive and the negative, like, like a photograph. You have like the, the white and, uh, and black, but you have also like perspective and depth in this symbolism of these two attributes of aspect of this pure consciousness that I mean, to be clear, this pure consciousness or God, if, if we still attached to that G word, or the higher power, this pure consciousness is who restores, who sustains, who transforms, who hides, who reveals whatever we experience through our physical body, through our senses specifically. One thing holds true. There's no separation in between this pure consciousness and you. I mean, it flows through your skin through your breath, it moves constantly, restoring, sustaining, transforming, hiding, revealing its own self. Om Namah Shivaya. That's the way that we recognize this pure consciousness everywhere with this wonder and this pride. Namaste.